Hello YouTube, this is Eddie and this is my reef tank. So a couple of days ago I uploaded a video with a big cyanobacteria outbreak. And I uh, this is 110 gallon. So I added mm, eight and a half little scoops of of chemiclean. Um because you know, I have a lot of rock and I have, you know, deep sand bed. And I wanted to make sure that I didn't overdose it. So, uh, there you go. Super clean. Well, this is just uh, the remaining of uh, not cleaning it. <laughs> you see all the rock. All the sand, that is just stains, that's not cyano, even the turbine, the back is nice and clean. So because of that I feel motivated and I, and I changed the aquascape, now I have a frag rack. I went ahead and buy some, some frags, some acros. So I decided not to move this rock from here because the GSP is growing into the back wall. But yeah, all the rock I changed. And guess what? One, two, ta-da! I got another AI Prime. Now I have full coverage in the whole tank. And these guys are happy. I also um, did the current. I changed the current option to a uh, more higher and longer pulsing. So it's nine seconds on, nine seconds off on the gyra. And it makes it all the way to the turbine, to the box. And inside the box, I have a a big return pop that I that I added <laughs> because I don't carry a sump so I just did it right there and uh, you can hear the water it gives good oxygenation and it gives good uh, current in the tank fishes love it now I don't have any dark spots <laughs> So yeah, everyone, if you have any uh, questions on the ChemiClean, it does work. Don't be skeptical. Just try not to overdose because it did clean, I mean it did kill two of my, two pieces of my Red Planet. They're not in there anymore. Well, there's one piece right here. Right here. So. Yeah, it died totally bleached. And then the one that was like around here, like oh, it was it was on this rock over here. It was long like this. It died too. But this one right here, I don't really know what kind of acro is that, but it survived, and now it's even greener. Also, the bird, the aura, bird's nest paradise. It's dying. So, but I have a small piece that I. Put it right there in between the, all the branches. You can see it there. Yeah, that one's fully alive. But I put it there to see if, for some reason, it will like encrust in that piece and make it alive. <sighs> but I got two more red planets. This one right here. And this one right here. Then I, Hawkins Echinata. Uh, purple. I forgot what it's called. Anyways, right here we got some uh, 
Pretendo uh, Digitata. Sorry, it's an Acropora. Sorry, it's not the other one. It's uh, it's an actual uh, an Acropora green. Purple Valida, right here, Purple Valida. You see some Pollock Extension, they're nice and happy. I don't even know what that purple one is, but it, it looks like it liked, it liked that area better than where it was. And I hope it goes live. Anyway, so my buddies, Cheeks, Cheeks is alone now. She doesn't have a boyfriend. She had a platinum snowflake, and it totally jumped out, and it landed in my chair, the one I'm sitting in right now. So by the time I got home from work, he was all stiff. Hey, Cheeks. What's up, girl? And a little smile, fox face. Hey, it's funny. Hey, boy. This is one of the oldest guys here. Him and this crummy right here. It's the biggest one. I've had him since I opened, since I started my tank like two years and a half ago, or something like that. Two years? <laughs> I don't even remember. But it's been quite a journey. Hey, buddy. Well, this is it, YouTube. I love this. Right? If I can hit YouTube.